Shit. I would say I started making music. I would count it as 15 is when it got, like, for real. So I'm 20 now, so about five years I've been making music. Hell yeah. What motivates me to make music every day? I would say, you know, my family. I would say my family and my friends and the situation I'm in life with with life and just trying to do positive things that I enjoy. Like instead of instead of working a nine to five, I honestly I don't think that was for me. School wasn't for me. So, you know, music keeps me motivated just to be healthy as well. It's an art. I fucked with J. Cole heavy. Big Sean was my shit too. Uh, growing up, a little way. My dad used to always play Jay Z, so you know I gotta throw them in there. A whole bunch of East Coast rappers: Biggie, Jay Z, Be- Beanie, Beanie Siegel. That was all me. Yeah, I liked a lot of old rappers. I fucked the ASAP, ASAP Rocky too. Who else? Yeah, Uzi, Juice. You know, I fuck with a little bit of everything. Honestly, I fuck with rock music. I, I got a lot of inspirations, you know. Feel me? A lot of things inspired me. I'm from North New Jersey, born there. And I moved a couple times throughout New Jersey. But, you know, Jersey, Newark. Yeah. And I would say, I would say, I guess, Sayreville counts you know i met a lot of people out here so i guess i you could say that's where i was raised as well but born in north <laughs> shit five years yeah it has to be five years i mean it's always been a thought but it didn't really get serious until i hit 15 and i just was like fuck it bro i'm about to make some studio shit in the closet and it was up from there I would say, um, I'm real, real. It depends on how I feel. Like if I, if I really took the time to sit there and write down a song, then of course, yeah, I'm gonna go and do the song. But nine times out of ten, I'm going in there and I'm just freestyling and I'm just having fun with it because that's what I like to do with the things I love. And I feel like writing music just, I don't know, it get boring sometimes. Honestly, my per- personal preference. This is me. So I like to just go in there, have fun. Oh, best song? Shit. I would have to say, hmm. This is a hard one. I like all my songs. I don't want to like downgrade none of them. Uh, I guess I could say Pillman. I guess Pillman is my hardest, I'd say. dead (laughs) probably like if music didn't exist if music didn't exist then definitely dead oh everybody gonna call me crazy but kanye yeah i fuck with kanye because he a gemini like me so you know i just feel me I, i see see things the same way he does sometimes Sometimes, (laughs) Sometimes, <laughs> but shit, yeah, Kanye. Um, Future, of course. You know, all all the ones I really, really feel me like Drake. Trippy Red. Uh, I wish Juice rest in peace, man. You know, nine nine nine. I rap that. Um, yeah. But trippy for sure. Yeah. Trippy. Hmm. I mean, I guess the studio I would like to go to, it really depends on who behind the computer and if I got a relationship with them or not. You know, it doesn't matter the setup and if the quality is good. And that's all that really matters. Um, yeah, I had a home studio myself, and I still find myself in studios like this. So, my 
mom, my family, my whole family, you know. Everybody who has produced my music, technically, you know, made some bangers with some good people in my day. So, yeah, the six, you already know the six rocked with me there, you know, and I'm on my way. We still coming. Shout out to the six. Shout out to my nigga Stoney. Keep going, bro. Keep going. And shit. I love my niggas till I die. I love you, mom. I love everybody. Feel me? Shit. Stay motivated. Don't question yourself. Always go for what you want. That's it.